construction is coming along nicely. We expect to be completing construction later in 2025 timeframe with production starting sometime in 2026 and ramping up production here in Boise uh, in line with our demand expectations. And the benefit of this fab that we are building here, of course, is that it will be right next to our world's most advanced R&D fab here. Having R&D and manufacturing next to each other really brings the benefit of accelerating time to market of most advanced memory technologies. And that's important because memory is very much at the heart of the AI revolution today. AI is all about data. Data lives in the memory products that Microns develops and manufactures. And bringing that benefit to the US through the CHIPS uh, grants by the Biden administration is going to be hugely important for building resilient supply chains uh, of semiconductors here in the US and of course bringing semiconductor leadership to the US. CHIPS grants will enable us to build not only this fab here which will go into production in 2026 timeframe in Boise but it will also enable us to build fab infrastructure in uh, Syracuse, central New York area which will begin production sometime in 2028 timeframe Construction in Syracuse area will start sometime in 2025 timeframe. It is really cost of labor and construction that contributes to a big part of the difference with Asia operations. And that, you know, there's a gap of about 35 to 45% between Asia manufacturing operations versus here in the US. And that's why CHIPS grants and investment tax credits are critically important to help bridge that gap. And today we are really very pleased to have Senator Crapo here, as well as uh, Deputy Secretary Wally Ademayo, who have been instrumental in shaping the investment tax credits to help bridge that cost gap of manufacturing between US and Asia.